What's up everybody? I'm Josh Palma and I'm here with the completely redesigned Mastercraft X26. This boat fulfills a very unique niche in our line in that it combines all day comfort and premium amenities with world class surf and wake performance. So let's run through some of the quick specs on the Mastercraft X26. So this is the largest boat in the Mastercraft fleet. It's 26 and a half feet long without the platform. With the platform, it's about 28 and a half feet long. 6,900 pounds dry weight, has a 102 inch beam, and it carries 108 gallons of fuel to provide plenty of running time for your all day boating. It's yacht certified with seating for up to 18 people, and it carries 4,150 pounds of ballast with the Gen 2 surf system. When you're talking about a surf system, regardless of manufacture, you've got a few variables that you're trying to control and manipulate to get the best experience possible. So one would be some, some sort of surf device, two would be your ballast, three would be speed. With the Gen 2 surf system, you've got a starboard device and a port device. If you're surfing on the port side, you're gonna deploy the device on the opposite side, the starboard side. If you're surfing on the starboard side, you're gonna deploy the port device. We also use the attitude adjustment plate or the center tab to help kind of mellow the transition and clean up the top lift. We don't use it on every single boat, um, but we do use it on, on occasion. Also keep in mind that every set of Gen 2 surf devices are custom designed for each hull. And there are even differences from the starboard device to the port device. So it's, it's very specific how we validate these surf waves and these devices. You'll also notice that the wave shaping devices have quite a bit of travel. So at zero, they're stowed right up under the platform and at 100, they're way down below the transom. What does that mean for your surf experience? What we've figured out the last couple years is that having all this travel, uh, it, it just allows us to provide a wave for every surfer, regardless of their size or skill level. Uh, as we're talking about tab deployment, I know it can get a bit technical, but don't worry. The way we have this integrated with our software makes it very intuitive and easy to use. Let's say we just hopped in the boat and we've cruised to our favorite surf spot. We're in drive mode right now. We're gonna switch over to surf, and then we're gonna pull down this profile menu, and you're gonna see just a very comprehensive list of surf profiles. And the best part is, when you activate one, it takes care of all those variables that we discussed previously. So your speed is set, your ballast is dialed in, the devices are oriented in the perfect position to either deliver you a kid's wave, super long, mellow, and forgiving, or all the way to the other side of the spectrum, we have max push, very steep, vertical face, big curl, powerful wave uh, for a skim style surfer or somebody who's a bit larger. So just like we can customize the surf experience for a wide range of skill levels, we can do the same for wakeboard. So using the attitude adjustment plate, we have three different profiles that just cover a wide range of ability. So we've got beginner, intermediate, and advanced. They'll all have different degrees of center tab involved and different amounts of ballast. But again, similar to surf, you hit that one button up on screen, activate the profile, and all of those variables are controlled for you. So it's very simple and easy to do. For a 6,900 pound boat, it's truly amazing how diverse it is in terms of its wakeboard ability. So we've spent most of our time so far talking about what happens behind the boat. We know that's really important to you guys, the surf and wake performance. But let's shift our focus and chat about the driver experience, the helm experience on the new X26. This boat here features the premium audio and dual screen package, which is optional, um, but it gives you this beautiful center display here, full touch screen to access your profiles, your music. We've got zone control. All of our music is powered by Klipsch Audio. We work closely with them to position the speakers strategically in the boat uh, to maximize clarity and projection. Another thing that I've noticed being out on this X26, 26 and a half foot boat. So what that means is the center of gravity is fairly far forward. So improved visibility, whether you're cruising down the lake or even if you're surfing down at that, you know, 10 and a half to an 11 and a half mile an hour range, depending on your height, you oftentimes don't even need the bolster. It's just a very clear, beautiful view because that bow just stays nice and low due to that forward center of gravity. 
So in addition to the refined helm experience we just walked through, we've also put a lot of focus and engineering into the ride and drive of the new X26. So you'll notice here up on the bow, we've got a much steeper dead rise forward. That allows you when you're on that big open water to still have a, just a very nice, comfortable and predictable ride for your entire crew. Uh, also, we've worked on the agility. As we mentioned earlier, this boat's almost 7,000 pounds. So what we've done is we've added the optional bow thrusters. So when you're maneuvering around a marina or up close to a dock, just makes that much easier and more responsive. We've also improved the agility on the new X26 by adding a taller main rudder. So whether you're up at wakeboard speed cruising or even around the dock more at idle, that main rudder just gives you more responsiveness. Uh, and lastly, the X26 comes standard with the Ilmore 6.2, and you can also equip it with the optional 7.4. The X26 is yacht certified, which means it can provide all day comfort for your entire crew. One of my favorite features of the new X26 is this side walkthrough for entry to the bow. It's just a really nice feel, uh, just kind of a seamless transition from the cockpit of the boat up into the bow. And keep in mind right now we have this open here, but you do have an optional bow filler cushion that gives you more of a playpen kind of seating area. It's great if folks want to come up here to lay out. So as we move into the cockpit of the X26, you're going to just see some layout, seating features and ergonomics that are very unique to this boat. We'll start right here with this passenger flip seat. I love this because if you're going to be going for a longer cruise down the lake to get to your surf spot or get to a friend's house, you can use this orientation. It's just very comfortable. It gives you that more cruiser feel. Um, but then, flip this this way. Once you get to your surf spot, you're going to be more focused on what's going on behind the boat. You've got this passenger side, rear facing seat. You've got one on the driver's side. And then obviously we still have our rear convertible flip seat. So just a lot of very innovative and comfortable rear facing seat so you can keep an eye on the action back here. And for those longer days on the water, keep in mind that the X26 offers an optional head right up here on center line. And back here, we've got the optional refrigerator. So this theme of comfort and luxury really runs the entire way through the X26. From the bow, the cockpit, and right here to the rear portion of the boat, just we really have comfort in mind. Let's start right here with the transom lounge seating. Uh, just a very comfortable spot to hang out. You can have folks laying out in the bow, laying out back here, you anchor up for lunch. And this boat even has the optional footrest for the lounge seat. It's also very functional back here. So think about people getting in and out of the water, what's happening when you're actually using the boat and people are surfing and wakeboarding. We've got heated vest storage here, sits right over the motor box. Chuck your vest in, cooler days, when you pull it out, it's just a little less chill when you throw that thing back on. Uh, and lastly, this boat features our beach tan cool feel. Cool feel allows you to really customize your interior without having to worry about it getting too warm on those long summer days. If you're looking for a luxury towboat that combines world-class performance and the ability to keep your entire crew comfortable for the whole day, the X26 is the boat for you. If you'd like some more info or you want to set up an on-water experience, please visit your local Mastercraft dealer.